guys and welcome to my channel in case you are new here my name is Janet I do hair I do beauty I do cooking and lifestyle vlogs I do hair and there house hunting and bed sitter videos in today's video I'm doing one of those bed sitter videos and what I'm doing is um uh, what is it called it's in or making over my bathroom i'll show you first how it looks like and if you're not subscribed to my channel kindly make sure that you subscribe down here hit the bell icon so that you do not miss an upload in fact as you can see i'm in my bathroom because i came to pick something here and i thought why not show you how it looks like and so i decided to start it here so guys this is where i place my tps so that is where I place my TPs. I also have my pads there. So I want to put a floating shelf here. I had put this one nail here, but I figured out it won't be enough or it won't serve the purpose. So let's do it. So I'll be creating from here, like uh, just putting these two together. I know they look like they don't have paint, but they have been painted the the course that they put on wood so that they can put paints yeah that is what they put because that is what i that is what i opted for but just in case i choose to have them painted in any color probably which should be white or or gray that is much 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 later then i will do that and do an update of how my bathroom looks like so guys really quick uh this is my floating shelf it's almost ready but i noted i didn't show you well what you need for this small project you will need these nylon ropes i bought two each was going for 30 shillings you'll need woods pieces of wood uh -huh. you can ask a fundi in your local to do the drilling for you so i have two you can do up to three depending on the space that you have i have this artificial flower i bought it in river road for 250 shillings and i have this bailey's bottle that was absolutely free i have this gorgeous basket what is inside is my pad and then i'll need these hooks though it seems like i won't use them but we'll see as time goes on you can also add as much as as you want for your day. first of all what i do is to attach these two woods with these ropes that i have it is quite hectic by the way i kept on trying and trying i watched how to do a floating shelf or how to make a floating shelf but it's like they were not helping that much so i just tried to do it my way here and there back and forth back and forth until i hack i hack it so let's do this together because hey, i want to be certain we don't have to be lonely we don't have to be hurting because i'm feeling like you and i are perfect i don't want to be sorry i don't want to think every night about how we've been so blind so say i'm waiting till it's too late no rest for lovers who are undetermined i just want to be certain i don't want to waste all our time wondering if we're right i'm waiting for a sign we are, wanna make we you are, part of mine i've been waiting for a sign are, i don't want you are, going away here it is almost done but i'm ready to do some other adjustments because i have not tried to hang it yet and i don't know the outcome so let's go to the bathroom and do the hanging and see where we adjust so first i bring everything else that i think i'll need i'll just put them at the window of the bathroom so that i can have it easy when it is time to put them on the floating shelf so here i'm just placing them all at that space of the window this hooks here that i was intending to do from this end to the other end so after creating the shelf i noted that the nail that i was doubting if it can serve the purpose to hang just a single string i just found out it can um, serve the purpose and so i won't be using the hooks but now from here i'm just checking how far i can go with cutting the ropes and then how uh the kind of adjustments the floating shelves needs but for sure i can see that it needs quite um an, ad an adjustment so i'll just definitely do that now but first it is trimming these ropes and just cutting the unuseful part just so that it can look a bit decent and neat 
So I'll use some heat at the end of these ropes just so that I can seal it and make sure it doesn't unravel. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. And then soon after that, I'll unhang the shelf and go and adjust it because no TP is fitting on that space. It is too small and then I have not even balanced it well. So let's do this. So here I already noted that I know tipis can be put in the basket but getting them outside the basket cannot be comfortable and I might be uh, messing up with the things on the top shelf and no matter how much I tried to get extra creative and maybe drop in other items that I wanted to be in the shelf like the basket and just putting the tipis all alone without the basket i don't think it will work like that because i don't like it that way so i have an um an inspo from the pinterest and this is not close to what i wanted so let me go and balance the shelf i just have to accept now this is it after the adjustment you can notice even the spacing is quite uh, okay which was the issue at the first because the basket couldn't have fitted in there and as you can see it is fitting and taking tipis outside the basket will be quite easy without messing with whatever is placed on the top shelf so i think i like it so here i'm just adding my face towels because i would love them to be staying on this shelf the bathroom is not as dusty so i think i trust it with my face towels staying on this shelf they will always be safe for a sign. Make for a adding details inside this bottle like putting some flowers it is not so ideal for me right now but maybe in future when i'll be updating my bathroom um makeover or decor then maybe then i can decide to add something but for now i just don't have it empty because i'm going for a simple inspo i was of the thought of putting the pads inside the basket without the branding paper but i noted they within no time they will scatter inside the basket and i'll just have to keep arranging every now and then and i had to put them back in the branding paper or the packaging bag and then put the two piece well. So this is almost the end of what I was looking to make. I think the this 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 woods match really well with the tiles on the walls, and I really really love them. This is the simplicity of my floating shelf and the bathroom makeup. Yeah, so guys, I think I can give you an up close of this shelf. And on the top shelf is my three face towels, a bottle. And on the second shelf, it's my teepees, my emergency pads, which has to stay in the bathroom, and the artificial flower. And that is basically it. For a sign. Don't you feel the same? Don't you? Don't you? Yeah. So you guys tell me what you think about this one. What should I add? Definitely not removing because it has less details, but I love it that way. In near future, when I'll be doing an update, I might add a picture. But for now, this is it. Until my next upload, always remember that I do not take a thing for granted. And I'll see you in my next video.